Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. This is Jeeps and Things, and if you are new to the channel, then I hope you like my content. So today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be working on the Jeep Wrangler. I have a, a light switch to install, which is the courtesy light. So when you open up your doors, you're gonna get your lights turned on. And I think this was about maybe 10 to $15. It was very cheap. And uh, here's the part number if any of you ever wanna look it up. And I believe, it's upside down. I believe that um, it's called Steinjagger, which is the brand. They also came with a really cool catalog. So you could just look that up. Comes with all kinds of good parts. It comes with a lot of cool stuff, really. All kinds. Pretty much anything that you'll ever need for a Wrangler. You know, they, they even have uh, like uh, bikini tops, they got fenders, they got everything in here. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm just gonna be installing that and um, I'll give you guys a little look to how the other side is because I am missing the driver's side, but the other side does have it. And I do have um, uh, upgraded lights. I, I, made, I put some LED lights in just to make it brighter than the original halogens, which are, they're very dim and they don't produce too much light. So I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so this is this side, you can see. I got these little LED lights. I found these things on eBay. I think they were as cheap as like $10 too for a set of four of them. So I got two on each side. Makes it a lot brighter. I mean, it's daytime right now and you could still see them. But if it was the original Hologens, you uh, they, you wouldn't be able to see them really. They were, they're, they're just that dim. Anyway, this is the button. You push this button, turns on, turns off. Very easy install, a little Phillips screw right there and one single plug because it actually disconnects from the body, which would be the ground. Super, super easy. So let's get to the install. First thing you're gonna need is the part, obviously. You're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver and a screw. I got one that matches the other side. I just happen to have one laying around. And you gotta make sure that you at least have your wire, which mine will be right here. I don't know why, honestly, that there's two, because the other side only has one, but I'm pretty sure it's straightforward, like the other side. So first things first, I'm gonna get to opening the package which I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do. There's my nice little switch. You push the button, it's gonna release from the ground, which is the body I showed you with the other switch. And um, I believe Steinjagger is German because it just sounds very German to me. So you could see that there's a metal prong right here that goes from uh, these two prongs. So when you disconnect, it literally disconnects. And when you push it together, that's what makes it turn on. The prong will come down here and it goes to right here, which will touch the bolt that goes into your body. So very easy, very easy design. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get to installing it. So all you do is you put it right in the hole, like so. Get my little screw right here. Put that in and bada bing, bada boom. Grab my screwdriver and, oh, don't lose. There we go. All right, so. I do want it to be a little straighter because it's go, trying to go in crooked. So I just tighten up my little screw. Super, super easy. It's not much of a mod. When I get more mods, I'm gonna definitely make videos on those. Cause like I said in previous videos, but if you guys are new to this video or this channel, I have um, I have some leaks on the Jeep I need to fix. And when I get the parts, it's gonna be more content for me, essentially. All right, so, all right. Now I see why there's two prongs because there is, there's the two little, things there don't know if i even need this one because they're already turning on oh this is for the buzzer that's what that is which is not working 
I think you have to have the key on, to be honest with you. So, one's the buzzer. And one is for the actual light. So, I don't know if you saw that or not, but when you plug in the actual light one, which is on the other side of this one, that will click on the lights. This one's going to be the buzzer. So, when you turn your keys on, that's going to buzz your ignition and let you know that your doors are open. Very, very easy install. You can see that it works. So now I got both lights working, both light switches. It's not much, but every little thing only works its way to being that much better and that much cooler. So, and um, I'm gonna show you a little walk around in the Jeep for those that are new. This is the good old Wrangler. Take it out of zoom mode. Didn't ha I didn't do anything with the interior yet. I still have to do all that, but I uh, I did quite a bit of work to this thing. I mean, if you look at my previous videos, you will see that uh, I did all the transformation work and I even have pictures of when it was original. These are 37 inch tires by 1250, 16 and a half, and they are double bead locks with run flats because these are actually Humvee wheels, believe it or not. They're just customized in the sense that they chopped out these right here, this little center ring, which would be just a normal plate that bolts onto the Humvee. And then they welded in this one to change the uh, offset and the lug pattern. Very cool. And I only got them for like 700 bucks for all five because I got the spare back there, which isn't a matching rim, but I'm fine with that. It's just a spare. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video and I'm gonna try to definitely get more some more content out there because I know that there's people subscribing to me and I just need to stay stay active and I need to stay motivated and I need to put out better content, I know. But until then, you guys take it easy. There's the good old buzz. <laughs>